Hello my dear friends welcome back once again and here we're going to learn section formula now in the vector chapter all right we have already learned what is section formula in the coordinate geometry section uh, and there's what we learn and here what we're going to learn it's pretty same but we're learning here now in vector way right again here the section formula are two types one will be internal section and another will be external right and as usual I'm telling you again here just giving directly to you in internal section the for uh, internal section formula there will be positive sign and in external section the uh, sign will be negative all right now in this video we will learn about the internal section and in the next video we'll learn about the external section I'll put the link somewhere in the video click on that and you'll get the external section all right uh, the, the, the formula derivation all right so let's talk about internal section and how do we find out the internal section formula in the vector analysis for that I have to draw a small figure uh, a small picture all right so let me draw that so as you can see in the figure we have a line uh, PQ and that line PQ has been divided by line OR right here uh, in ratio let's say M ratio N okay I mean to say here if it's something like that, you know uh, if this is a line then here is a point that point is dividing this whole line into some ratio all right let's say this is three section and this is two section so it's a ratio and, and and let me tell you here let me tell you here this point of division you know the point of section you know the is inside this line is in the line you know here also you can see this point which is dividing the line is in the line so that is why this is called internal section and if this point is outside then that time that will be called external section we'll be talking about that in the next video all right uh, so so this is internal section all right so uh, let me give some uh, some name also. Let's say OP vector vector OP is vector A vector OQ OQ is vector B and vector OR let's say vector R right. So here what I'm going to imagine let, let, let's imagine that vector OP is vector A and vector OQ is vector B and vector OR is vector R right. Uh, let's imagine like that. So here we, we have to find out vector R which is dividing the line pq all right in certain ratio okay which is m ratio n so here given things what is given here given to us to to proceed is only few things that is that is that is uh, pr divided by rq is m ratio n m and n are some scalar numbers all right um, some scalars also you can see in the figure you can see you know this is m section and this is n section all right and this is the point of intersection okay so uh, let's let me write this in vector way so it is going to be now vector pr divided by vector rq and now further what is pr okay what is pr what is pr what is pr you can find out the value of pr by triangle law vector addition in the triangle of vector addition what we have learned that if the two vectors are represented by the two sides of the triangle side one and side two in magnitude and direction then the third side of the triangle taken in opposite order represents the resultant of those two vectors so i mean to say the pr vector is representing as a resultant uh, resultant in magnitude as well as in direction as the addition of po plus or right so pr can be written as po plus or right so it's going to be now po plus or and then divided by now let's talk about the rq so 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 rq okay rq we need to find our rq again we're going to apply the triangle law so this will be ro plus oq all right so it's going to be ro plus oq that's equals to now m over n uh, let me take you to here okay so now po what is po what is po op equals to a so po will be negative of a right and or or is here br all right so it's plus r divided by ro 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 or is r so ro will be negative of r so it will be negative of r and then plus oq all right so what is oq that is b b equals to now m over n it's m over n further it's going to be now n times a but with negative sign and n n times r and it will be now m times r again m times r but with negative sign and m times vector b m times vector b okay so now what we we're going to do we we are going to find out the vector r so let's put all the r related things in one side these two all right this is negative so when it will go this side it will be positive all right so it's going to be now m times vector r plus n times vector r that is equals to m times vector b which is here and this negative n times vector a i'm putting into the another side so it will be positive n times vector a okay so what is the good news the good news is you can take the r common all right 
So I'm going to take R common and then I will be left with M plus N and this side I have M times B plus N times A. Let me shift a little down, a little down and here vector R is going to be now M times B plus N times A divided by M plus N which can also be written as OR all right and this is called internal section formula all right so to find out the the, the vector which divides some line in a uh, certain ratio internally then you can easily find out by the by this internal section formula all right